So VATPase is very cool, um, but what does it do? What, what good is it really? Well, by transferring protons, it changes the pH, the acidity of some places in the cells, some uh, organelles inside this. Is that necessary this. to do? Or? It is very important because then the cells, after once they have these acidic organelles, they can do so what's different an jobs. Like, like a mitochondrion or something? Or? Mm, yes, but they are not. Is, mitochondria is a type of organelle, but the VATPA is, is not in the mitochondria. It's present in the lysosomes and vacuoles, which and, are and what, storage. What's a lysosome? They are. Um, like the recycling center of the cell. Mm -hmm. Then uh, proteins that have to be recycled are broken down in the lysosome. So if you and make then, it more acidic, does it break down faster? Is that part of what's going yes, on? Yes, it activates some enzymes that exist inside the lysosome that helps to break down those proteins. Lysosomes are, are also very important storage compartments. Hmm. Then they store calcium and number of ions, amino acids. So when were these ATPases discovered? The VATPase was discovered about 30 years ago. Okay. And it's called VATPase because it's so abundant still after in vacuoles. I had my biochemistry course. Go ahead. <laughs> mm. Yes. Uh, but the other ones were discovered earlier. The, uh -huh. But the archaea probably later. But and, the and F. The, and the rotational mechanism, when was that discovered? Um, I would say it was. They got um, the Nobel Prize was given in 1997 for the, this showing the rotation to uh -huh. uh, John Walker and uh, Paul Boyers. They may have described this first time during that decade in the 90s. I uh -huh. don't know the exact year uh -huh. when it was first. So this all seems like <clears throat> it's very academic and technical, but I'm guessing it probably has very practical applications. Are there practical applications of understanding VATPAs? Of course. Um, VATPases are very important um, in all living eukaryotic cells. And if you think of the kidney cells, for mm -hmm. example, some cells in the kidney um, transfer protons to acidify the urine. I've always wondered, how is it the body really maintains its acid-base balance? It's and I was taught some cells pump acid. Now then that's the acid. Then is the among other proteins, the VATPase is very abundant in some cells of the kidney. Then they they transfer the acid to us that acidifies also the urine. Right. Then when the VATPase doesn't work, then there are um, problems with balance, pH balance mm -hmm. in in humans. So I'm guessing the parietal cells in the stomach, which make the acid in the stomach, probably have the same mechanism. Is that right? They have other ATPases. They are different mm -hmm. than they are no rotary ATPases. Not a rotary one. No, it's not rotary ATPases. They are known as the P-type ATPases, uh, but they are no rotary ATPases. So how they many different ATPases are there? Oh, there are lots of different ATPases. Really? They are very important because they use the energy of ATP, chemical energy, to do some work inside the cells. So natural selection gradually specializes them to do different tasks in different cells. Exactly. Mm -hmm. How interesting. Mm -hmm. How oh, interesting. You're doing some work that shows potential relevance of VATPA changes to possibly interfering with breast cancer. Yes. Can you tell mm -hmm. us about how that works? Well, um, this work from my lab and other labs has shown that VATPA tend to acidify the extracellular environment in breast cancer and all the, the many whole, other cancers. The whole cell, not just the organelles? Um, they, it tends to pump protons now outside the cancer cell and acidify the environment around, surrounding the cancer cells. Surrounding cancer cells. And cell. that acidification is important for to activate some processes that are relevant to cancer. Mm. Um, it has been shown that that acidification of the extracellular environment can confer some degree of resistance to chemotherapy because um, the acidic pH may affect the, the um, ionization so stage of the drugs. So cancer therapy might work better if we could prevent the VATPases from making the acid environment around the cancer cell. Correct. And they do many other things in cancer cell too. They are involved in signal transduction. They are necessary so what, for... what does signal transduction mean? Then they... they um, participate in signal in pathways that communicate signals from outside the cell to inside the cell. Okay. To so for instance, like, like estrogen stimulating a cell to grow. Exactly.